Hey guys, this is Matt. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a 2019 Godfrey Sweetwater 2186 triple tune with a 150 horse Yamaha on it. A uh, couple things about this guy is, you know, one construction on it. It's built like a tank. Uh, coming into the pontoons here, one thing you'll notice is, you know, all the aluminum here is all beefed up, including the splash guard here. Uh, three welds on the top, one giant weld going across the bottom. This thing is so sturdy that you can stand on it, literally stand on it, and it is not going anywhere, um, which is huge. That's all two splash guards on all three pontoon locks here. To including in this triple tune package here, you do get lifting strikes. That's going to create a flat bottom surface to allow quicker planing and less drag on the pontoon itself as you're going through the water. The third pontoon log will also get your pontoon sit up higher in the water so it's going to be a quieter, drier uh, ride and it's a lot more stable on rougher water here. Huge. Coming out to, to the side here you'll see that these pontoons also do have heavy duty corner castings that are just screwed on so if you ever come into a dock lift anything damaged in the rub rail here it's really easy to replace a couple screws and you put a new one on coming over here you can see the uh, beautiful vapor blue panels that this pontoon is but coming to the back here, you'll notice that we got a big oversized uh, swim ladder here that allows you to get up onto the pontoon. And then you can notice that the, pont the ladder is actually angled out and away from the pontoon. That way it doesn't swing in and you're climbing up onto the pontoon, not up and backwards. Like I said earlier, this guy does have a 150 horse Yamaha four stroke motor with a stainless steel prop. That's just going to give you extra bite um, out in the water. Help a whole shot. This guy is also equipped with Sea Star hydraulic steering. Uh, acts as a as a power steering for you. Going into the boat here, you can. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this boat is all seagrass flooring front to back, which is huge. It's a woven vinyl, mold mildew resistant, slip resistant, and stain resistant, which is really, really nice. But coming up to the front here, you got some great big long benches. Uh, this guy, I'm 6'7, it allows you to actually sit and spread out and actually lounge out there's probably a good foot from my feet to the back grass there great gate here full piano hinge it allows you to lift up uh, the gate and not have to worry about hinges binding so it'll last longer and less smoother actions Coming up to the seats here, you got full rotoplastic seat bases uh, with the water management system here. This allows the water that gets in from in between your seats and the seat backs to uh, go into this channel and drain outside of the boat with but lots and lots of storage in this guy. There's even, on your chase lounge, storage on the chase lounges, uh, you can put a small trash can in there and you got yourself trash storage. Keep the boat nice and clean and out of the way. Coming out to this back bench here, this is the classic cruise floor plan with the L-shaped bench in the back. Uh, if you notice, there is no change room area, no back pad on this guy. That allows us to extend the seat out and 
add an extra 24, roughly 24 inches of seating space in here. Uh, this bench is now a true three-person bench versus two people and a small kid in there. Plus storage, once again, storage underneath everything here, as well as some more storage here, another place for a trash can. Coming over to your helm here, you'll see you got full gauges, speedometer, tachometer, fuel gauge, bolt meter, and fuel, as well as an hour meter on the tachometer. Great little, great pontoon here. This guy is also equipped with tilt steering. And that's going to allow you to adjust the steering wheel and make it comfortable for the driver. Uh, this boat does come equipped with a Lowrance Hook 4X uh, color fish finder, depth finder slash fish finder, uh, as well as a marine audio Bluetooth USB radio. Right down below you'll have your auxiliary port, USB port, and a 12 volt car, car charging port for your cell phone to keep, you know, keep the tunes rolling all, all day long out on the water. This also has four speakers, one each bench up in the front, and then two in the rear seat. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, hope you guys come in and take a look at this pontoon, your own, on your, on your time. Have a good winter. Bye.